All right. I got to do an inventory check because I was going to buy another one of these, but I didn't know if I had the same no room number or something like that, if it was the same type. And, uh, and I realized I don't have a list of my rolling stock that I own. So I figured I might as well uh, <clears throat> take, a, take an inventory of what I got so that way I can figure out what I don't need to buy again. So I'm just going to be uh, <clears throat> eating and reading this off as I go. And then uh, we'll just restock it, put it back in the box. Nothing special for a video today, but I got a new scanner. Finally got a new scanner. I'll be back and at it, you know, making some new train videos again because it's kind of hit or miss, you know, like when you got to sit around waiting to guess. It's a lot more easier just, you know, you hear a train heading out or getting ready to come in or something like that. Then just head on down, get him. Instead of just hanging out for like hours waiting to catch something, maybe. All right. So I got to like read this out loud to me, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm eating me some nice little uh, corned beef and Swiss. Some fresh onion in there. Mmm. Nice and grilled. I'll be chewing on that as I'm just like basically doing inventory. Because uh, I saw some cool stuff, you know, where uh, Dave's trains and things at the flea market in downtown Binghamton. And uh, I wanted to get this besides the other stuff over there. But I didn't know, like, you know, how much I want to put money towards something that I already got, you know, when I get new stuff first. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go through my box and start inventorying this stuff. That way I can just, like, know what I got. So, SP, what was it again? 55 or 51187? Or 67? I don't know. Let me look on the other side here. Yeah, it's an 8. Yep. Let's see here. Focus, come on. Focus. There you go. Focusing right. There you go. SP1187. Alright, I got that for HO. Put these over here. Pick this one up. And Dave's Trains and Things. Still has a $2 Bryce tag on it. A 40 foot high cube. Don't have a couple. Don't have a. Oh, I got a couple of those. I got one uh, cotton belt one that I got to check out. Alright, so this one is, might as well just pull off the box, I guess. Oh, wait, will it say it on the box? No, it won't. Okay, so just UP518126 boxcar. High cube. Alright. I haven't even taken this one out yet. I think it's still pretty much brand new. I mean, it's got the, the old horn hooks and stuff. I also grabbed this one too. It's a CSX boxcar. This and a coupler on one end. The other end's got a, a thick either magnetic or KD coupler. I'm not sure. Like one of the more modern ones. And then uh, I'll probably turn this one to an adapter, put a horn hook on this end. It's a uh, pretty alright, good shape, except for like missing the wheels. Don't know who it is because this isn't the actual box. I'm going to pick this up at the flea market. So sometimes, you know, it's a mixed match. Take a look inside. Oh, no. There went that. Yeah, some door to something. That was in a box, and so Dave didn't care about it. I don't really have a name on the bottom here. Yeah, see this one's missing the coupler, so. Yep. So I'll use this as an adapter car, I guess. SPD 14000. Is that over 
right here. Maybe I should turn it up just a bit so you guys can hear it better. It's a, just a Baofeng uh, UV5R standard one I picked up for, it was 20 bucks. There's this one. Pick this one up. People knock model power and mantula and whatever, but this was nice. Look at that. You know what they say about like uh, fishing lures. Fishing lure has to catch the fisherman first before it can catch the fish. That's nice. I mean, I haven't taken this out of the box yet. A nice look at this Canadian National. That is cool. Not bad for seven bucks. What do you think? Look at that. I love that stripe. Nice realistic couplers on it too. Plastic wheels, but I mean, like I said, that's a pretty great deal for seven dollars. You know, I think it's never been used either. So. Canadian National 10600. That is cool. I got a few loose cards in, in the box, too. I got to invest in some random boxes. But let's get into the sandwiches before they get too cold, man, to eat. Now, this uh, unmarked, uh, unlettered, unbadged uh, B unit. Anybody recognizes what exact kind of uh, B unit this is? You know. Let me know. And uh, let me know which end is uh, what would be considered. Uh, like the front end, because I know some B units, they're built with like um, like little uh, control cock cockpits in there, so they can like um, shunt them back and forth and like up into the second notch or something like that. And uh, some B units were used as a uh, as like yard goats and like mines and stuff like that. So anybody. Knows what kind of a uh, unit this is. Let me know. I got a pair of these. These are actually the same uh, build type. Well, this one up here is a Tyco, I think. It definitely looks like someone tried to, you know, weather wash it. You need to get cleaned up on that one, especially up top. Unless you want to call it snow or something, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, this one's a Tyco, and what was this one again? I think it's a Cox or something. Yep, yeah, it's a Cox. You can just see the difference. Alright, two Burlington Northerns that I take care of. Illinois Central that probably came from that same lot with that. It also feels like a like a Tyco car. It's a nice little rail box. It's got a little bit of heft to it too.
three elastic couplers on each end. CNW heavy duty flat car. I think it's missing the brake wheel, I guess. I'll steal plastic wheels and stuff, but. Crown, huh? I never heard of that one yet. I just picked this one up at the the last Binghamton model train show for like a dollar. So yeah, I never heard of Crown yet. Oh, let me turn that up for you a bit. Another eerie heavy duty flat car with a cement pipe load, I guess. Let me see what this is made by. That's pretty cool. I got a shorter version that uh, with a regular flat car that matches that, but I think it's unmarked. A work caboose with a tank on it. I'm not sure who it's by. Unmarked too. Pretty cool though. I like that. I bet you this thing will pop once you throw on some like panel accent on it. Suzy Q boxcar. NYSW. A little bit dirty at the top there. Needs to get cleaned up proper and then like done up nice. I'm sure if I weather it or keep it as is, besides like cleaning that off, that's a little bit too much right there. All nice that. little nickel plate road boxcar. Nice heft to it, too. I'm sure if the metal wheels. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Needs a brake wheel on this NPR or NKP pop scar. Okay. Yep. Here's that other pipe load flat car. But they're not the same dimensions as that one. But you won't really tell. Eerie Lackawanna blue box car. Look at that. Definitely shiny though. Need some dull coat on that. I'm not sure who's made by it. Let me see here. Hmm. Oh, it's a Bachman. Bachman car. Definitely shine. The Lehigh Valley. Open hopper with a load. Not really sure who made that. It says MED. Don't know what that's about. It was a bug. Uh, Hudson one. No load in that one. Definitely need some weight to it though. A little bit of cleanup gas it too it needs. Multi fools air slide hopper. This one is nice. I like that one. I picked this one up for five bucks, too. Down at the freight yard in Endicott, New York. When I was customer number one. Another open hopper. With the Norfolk and Western. 
No load. Really don't like that anything needs. That thing needs some load in it. Virginian boxcar. Or I guess like a what they call a reefer. Wooden re woodside reefer. What was it by? I have Bachman or some. What? Let me see here. Yeah, Hong Kong, but. Yeah, made in Hong Kong, but it doesn't say. by who? But it's not too bad. Got pretty good detailing. I bet you it'd pop if you, like, really weatherize it too. BN open gondola. Or rather, like, uncovered. Because I got a, some other gondolas in here. I got one that's got a cover. Yep, it's got brake wheel. I wonder who it's by. Let's see. Mm, wait. Here we go. Yep, this is a Bachman, I believe. Wait, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, Bachman. Another Southern Pacific gondola. So it's nice. Oh, another one of those, uh, MAD or MARs? I'm not sure. The Southern Pacific gondola. Okay. If I write that one down. Here's a I'm writing them all down, duh, but. Here we uh, double bay, but. Or quad bay, I guess. Or split, or whatever it's called. Nice little shorty. Alright, well, then we're going to start getting into some of the boxes here. This is my uh, Triangle Pacific one that I set up to be an adaptive car. It's got a horn hook on one end. Yep. A regular modern coupler and the other. And there's this one. That's, I gotta rebuild this one. I picked this one up for a couple bucks. But whoever made it, they made a mess out of it. I mean, look at that. Couldn't even glue it right. So I gotta take that apart and rebuild it. When I get around to it. But it's nice. NJ Plastics. Which end is? Should have brake wheel on it somewhere. Yep, there it is. All right, the Gaddix tanker. I gotta do some repair on this one. It needs a little bit of bonding right there. Get that bad order fixed. Other than that, nice little mini uh, shorty tank car. I think I picked this one for like three or four dollars. Two one mark uh forty foot uh containers. I think I'm gonna do these ones as those uh text containers or maybe the one that says like this text on the side or something like that. Nice. REA Express truck. Cab over engine too. Nice classic. I haven't built that together yet, but that should be a Nice little project video one day, maybe. Two C sets, uh, 53 foot containers. Brand new mint. Got these for just like five YSL bucks. YSL 25 or YS lines, or yeah, YS. Well, I don't know why I said, yeah, YSL. <laughs> Duh. YSL 20 foot containers. Nice little set of those. Also picked those up for just five bucks. Also got this, uh, 
CPRR flat car. It's missing a wheel and a couple of these, uh, I guess, brake lines. We gotta get re glued down, like down at the points. I think there's a couple of them that are loose and stuff like that. But other than that, it'd be good for uh, little load projects and whatever. Older Gaddix riveted tank car. A little classic, you know. That way, uh, when I feel like playing with some uh, older Alco action, you know, something that'd be like time fitting. Here's a Southern flat car with bulkheads. I gotta fix that. Coupler keeps on coming loose on that end. I just put it up the south on the track 14 and Clark on a new lease for brakes. Things got nice half to it for, you know, a little flat car like that. A cotton belt high cube. Look at that. Nice. This is one car. I might turn this one to an adapter too. So that way I can hook that up to whatever I need. Brake wheel on, yep. It's got pretty good detail in it. Oh, I see. Oh. Here's an old roundhouse kit I haven't put together yet for a Great Northern Ore car. I made sure I've been buying like a shorties of different lengths so that way I can like do a bunch of different layouts or have fun with layouts when I do eventually, you know, get around to building them. And that way I can like do whatever I want with them and actually play with them a bit, you know. Here's a double stack car kit I haven't put together yet. You know what I found out just recently? I don't know if it's uh, this one, but TTX or TT, one of them, actually probably stands for trailer train. I mean, kind of, you know, makes sense when you think about it. This is a Walters one, too. Got this for five bucks too, instead of a tip hook 20 foot containers. And the bottom so CP the... rail work caboose kit. I haven't put it together really yet. Uh, nine, uh, looking to reverse in the Ooh, me into a rail gun. I haven't taken it out yet. Yeah, it's got the old horn hooks on the end. Got an eerie Lackawanna car kit here. I haven't even built this one yet. I think I got this one at nine scale though. Pretty sure. Found a screw at the bottom. So I knew it was here somewhere. Nice little Virginian. Hopper with the load. Realistic couplers on this one too. Light though. Got here I was talking about it. Southern Pacific. Covered gone. With the walk on it. Look at that. Break a little gun. Calicow. Pick up the uh, south end shack and then uh, drop him off at the north end shack and double back down for the new lead, please, for the 83. That's pretty cool. I don't see those around here. We got some tarp guns. I guess, roll through, uh, but... just the new lead then. Okay. Alright. I don't see a whole lot of covered guns with like their own car. 98 no. car. Or, no, 94. I think the the one I got in end scale is 98. This one's got regular horn hooks on the end, too. Most of them do. This one's got, I guess, uh, whatever those are would be for. Not the time. Not that I would know. Main central kit I haven't put together. 
think it, well, I think it's mostly put together, but kind of came apart probably on someone else. An unmarked 86 foot auto parts box car. This thing needs more. I don't know why they try to paint it green or paint it. Yeah, I think they try to paint it green. And then over black on it, maybe? Or maybe it was black. I'm not sure, but. Definitely needs. Yeah, I think it was black. And then they tried to paint it green. Not bad for five bucks. Oh wait, there's more 86 foot boxcar action. Maxi cube, look at that. I haven't put this kit together yet. That is super cool. Gonna need a giant, you know, layout for those. Especially if I'm doing them back and back. Picked up this Santa Fe Center Cab for just a buck. Uh, definitely needs work. And even if it doesn't get eventually going, I guess I can use it as a dummy. And I'm sure exactly which, uh, it's like an Alco center cab. Oh yeah. Not bad for a buck. And speaking, this is another one I picked up for a buck too. I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be a Baldwin or something like that. But yeah, like I say, not bad for a buck. I even tested them, either one of them. I just saw them, they were like, asked them how much they were, they're like, a eh, dollar. I was like, okay, sure, I'll take that. You know, if I don't ever like, like restore them or whatever, like, like the railings and stuff like that. You make it into like a scrap part or something like that. Like in the yard or around. And this is the probably most expensive piece I bought so far. I picked it up for 111. I haven't really got to play around with it yet. Pretty cool though. I get to see this running around here a lot. 3018. Not the greatest in detailing, but for just over a hundred bucks. DCC too. Not sound, but that's pretty cool. Alright. That was it for Pretty much the HO instead of like, well, besides uh, that Tyco uh, set that I have upstairs, the uh, Train Master, the Train Master 102, the Virginian. All right, I have to remember to log that one in and all that stuff. All right, I'm going to eat up and maybe do a video of the end scale stuff. If you get back to the train work tomorrow.